bus channel or layer. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to bring up mostly your DCAs first. If you scroll over, you'll see the yellow ones start showing up. This is your aux send masters. Got it. So it's like your main mix for your auxiliary sends. There's three of them that are designated for monitors. Make sure that those are up and at zero, um, kind of first and foremost. Okay, so you can go back to user one, which has most of your band, or user three was set up for your eight o'clock service. Over here, on this far side, um, there's bank one, kind of these user assignables. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to the third one, you'll see there's some display things you could change like the, uh, how bright some of the mm. displays and things are. Mm -hmm. But you notice this middle row of them, which is this middle row of buttons, mm -hmm. is monitor one, two, three. So if I hit number one button, you'll notice these jump to ah. sends on faders for these instruments. Mm -hmm. So now whatever I'm doing on the faders here mm -hmm. is what is sending to monitor, monitor one. one. Um, I'm going to make sure that that is what's feeding a certain wedge mix on stage. And then me and Lisa will talk through, okay, here's the plugs for monitor one, monitor two, monitor three. So then you have three wedge mixes on stage that you can, okay, I wanna send this to monitor one, I wanna send this to monitor two, I wanna send this to monitor three. Make sure that you hit that again and cancel it out you notice all the faders back. went back to just their normal colors mm -hmm. that we've designated before. Um, yeah, that should be it. Okay.